Hey friends, what a gorgeous day. Mm, we actually have some sun shining, which is a mean feat with the London weather that we've been having for however long, since the beginning of the year. It's been awful. But now we have some sun, which is amazing. We're still in partial lockdown and I'm still a bit anxious about going out and stuff so i'm not i'm still not going out as much as people i know but i'm gonna have to start because work is opening up thank the lord work is back which is fantastic so i am going to be having to get on london transport at some stage so i wanted to say that quickly and to say hello and i hope you're all well and safe and life is great for all of you out there. I also wanted to reminisce a little bit because I don't know if you know, however, wherever you are watching this, but for my London, England people, at the moment we're having a problem with black children being kidnapped at the moment, being grabbed off the street on their way home from school or when they're in the park you know they're just being grabbed and kidnapped and for the children so those of us that were brought up in the 70s late 60s 70s they're always friends of the family you know aunties and uncles that you might see while you're out on the street on the way home from school on the way to school during the lunch break if you left school to have a quick lunch break you might see them on the street but especially if you were on the way home if you were dawdling on the way home more often than not you'd see someone who you thought oh no there's uncle so and so or auntie so and so and i am not on my way home from school yet and they would stop you in the street and say vanessa what are you doing here does your mum know you're here? And you'd either say, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, or I'm just on my way home from school. Most of our kids know mum and dad's friends. I'm talking, I'm coming back to present day. Most of the kids, I would say, I'm assuming, know who the friends, close friends of their mum and dads are. They know the aunties and the uncles. We need to go back to that time where the aunties and uncles that the kids know and the kids love and they know are close to their families, stop them in the street and say, where are you going? You should be on your way home. Also, kids, you need to travel in packs. You need to travel in groups on your way home from school or wherever you're going. I know that these days these kids are rude. That's the one thing. Kids are different these days. They have no respect and they're rude. But at this moment in time where kids are in danger on the street, being kidnapped by whoever it is, you need to be with friends on your way home from school, with friends in the park, if you're going home on your own, you need to ring your mum and, and dad and tell them what time you've left school. If you've got big sisters, cousins in the area, find someone to travel with. Don't be on your own because I don't know why these people are kidnapping black children. I don't know what the craze is. I don't know what the idea is. Who knows what it is, but they're drugging you. They're picking you off the street. They're drugging you and they're keeping you. And God knows what they are doing from there but it's got to stop if the police or the powers that be are not paying attention well they need to they need to pay attention and if they don't pay attention other people will pay attention people will form their own groups in order to keep the kids safe at the moment you know people may say it's a bit vigilante and they may not agree with it but while the powers that be are not doing anything I am not saying anything against them. They should not, in the little stamp of a country we have called the United Kingdom, 
this kind of mass kidnap of black children, I'm afraid should not be happening. It should not be happening. I have no idea why this is happening, but it needs to stop. It needs to stop. People keep your children safe. If you're out shopping and you see your friend's children, they recognize you. They know you're close to their parents. You ask them where they're going, what you're doing, what they're doing here, there. Walk them to the bus stop or the tube station if you need to and make sure that they get on the tube. You ring the parents, your friends, and tell them that you've seen their kids wherever you've seen them and that you sent them home. Made sure that they got on the right tube or the right bus. We have to be more vigilant. This strange action, this strange behaviour of people. You know, we can't, you can't just close your eyes to it. You can't. So this was really bothering me. Especially on the news where um, a little boy was saved, safe, because he managed to escape the clutches of these people. And he told what he saw. It's got to stop. Keep your eyes peeled, as they used to say back in the day. Keep them peeled. Keep an eye on our children and keep them safe. Keep yourselves safe. I'll speak to you all soon.